Hey guys, so a lot of you asked if, you know, how if I can prepare some food meals for you. So we're just going to go through a little rundown of the kind of meals I make with chicken, fish, beef, and ground turkey. Alright, so with ground beef, uh, I personally like either ground top sirloin or a bison ground beef, okay? Today we're doing bison. I prefer, I, I, I classify it as a better quality of meat. Um, if you can find it on sale, good deal. Let's turn the pan on. Spray it up. No oil in this one, obviously, as you can see. I'll just cut them open. This will be exactly two pounds of ground bison. And yes, I washed my hands before I did this. It's a little more expensive than your standard ground beef. You're looking at, depending what state you live in, but right here in California, I'm paying roughly between nine and 11 pound, bucks per pound of, of ground bison. But if you get lucky, you can get 30% off, 50% off at times, uh, if they're trying to get rid of it. For any kind of ground beef, I like to use Taco seasoning, sodium is your friend, and so is flavor. Anyone that says no to sodium doesn't know how to diet very well. Sodium is required for muscle contraction and pushing water and keeping water into the muscle. So sodium is not really an issue if you're in shape or you're training hard enough because you'll just be sweating everything out, especially if you're drinking enough food throughout the day. So sodium is not a problem. Highly recommended. Don't really need to cut out sodium until maybe the night before a contest or even never at all. So the great thing about ground beef or any kind of ground meat is it's a fast cooking process. This will be done in five, six minutes pretty much. Just keep the, the, the pan on high. Let it cook for a little bit. Now we're gonna let it sit for maybe a minute. And then just keep stirring it up and it'll be done. So Personally, I would love to have a steak, but I'm not the best steak cooker in the world. Uh, either come out too cooked or I'll be eating, eating cardboard. So, and I, I prefer flaming yum more than anything, so I don't think I can afford 20 bucks a pound at the moment. So this is a cheap alternative and fast and crispy process. When you have to cook and eat a lot of food, faster is the better. But take that extra little time to add flavor into it. That will make you make the dieting and nutrition plan go a long way. So now, as the meat is cooking, I want to add some fresh herbs to it. So we got some cilantro here and some shallots. Okay, I like fresh herbs. So I'm not the best chopper, so don't judge me. So I was taught to let them do the knife do all the work. So. Yes, I wash my hands. Let the knife do the work. And that's it. Obviously, I didn't cut that very well. But after that, I'll just throw this all into my ground beef. Ground bison, just keep it correct here. And this will cook with the food and add that extra flavor. Okay, the uh, bison is pretty much done. So the next step is just turn it off and let it sit. Let it sit because it's still going to be cooking for a bit. So we're going to just let it sit. 
I'm gonna do a couple more stirs. Make sure I just don't see any raw pieces. And if I do, put them near the bottom of the pan, like so. This is not raw, but I'm just showing you an example. I'll make sure it's on the bottom of the pan, not on top of some other meat somewhere. So that way, when it's finished cooking, by the time I portion it out, it'll be all done. And that's pretty much how you cook bison. And in a minute, I'll show you how I divvy out my portions. Okay, so we let the bison sit for a while. I can put the pan on the, the granite because it's granite. If you have a wooden top or a plastic top, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's for convenience. So my meals require eight ounces of ground beef, ground bison, lean steak. So we just gotta give it all out. These meals require sweet potato, 10 ounces, but obviously those are still in the oven. So I will add that to these meals once those are all done cooking. About two pounds of raw bison or ground beef will net me about only three meals of food. But if you're a female, you don't really require this much kind, this much protein per meal. I would say four ounces, five ounces at the most. If you're a highly active athlete, train, uh, figure, figure competitor, etc., etc., etc. Carb-wise, you can either have a half a cup of rice, four or five ounces of potato, or if you're just doing low carb, there's plenty of fat within the, the bison to just net a full cup of just steamed vegetables. You don't really need to have as much food as a guy my size of 230 pounds or bigger. Uh, if you're 130 pounds, this is four ounces of anything is plenty of uh, nutrition per meal. Alright guys, that's it. Get big, get lean. See you next time.